Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a new review. It's been a while since I've actually like reviewed any products and I really need to start getting back into that. So I asked you guys on my community tab what foundation you'd like to see me review. I actually have the new Charlotte Tilbury one. That didn't win. So I was away and went to Sephora the other day and got a sample of the new Anastasia found luminous foundation. I love getting samples because I just never know what's going to work for my skin and to spend all that money it just doesn't work for me so I always get samples and then I don't have a Sephora where I live so then I can order them online. So I got the luminous foundation and I am going to show you like a before and after. I have it on right now. So this foundation launched probably about like a month ago now. Um, there's lots of reviews out there, so I know I'm not like the first person to review it. Um, so I have like kind of normal skin. It can get a little bit oily. So I was like, hmm, is this foundation going to work for me? Because luminous foundations I find work the best for dry skin, but I wasn't really sure. Um, so that was something. And then they didn't have a lot of the... Um, like a lot of colors for testers, but um, there was one I was like, yes, that's, I think that's my color, and um, the sales associate agreed, so I am trying the 330W, so I really like how many skin, how many different um, shades they have, like, and I like how they're separated with, like, I think there's, like, fair, dark, tan, um, so I really like the idea of that, and I am, like, overjoyed because, this is almost like my perfect match, which never happens. The only annoying thing is I do have my summer tan on, so of course this is gonna like go away, but I'm so excited for it now if I can kind of maintain that. Um, so this foundation actually I didn't think was too bad for a high-end foundation in terms of price. So it's $50 Canadian and $38 American, and you can get this at Sephora and on the Anastasia website. I'm just going to bring up the website. Um, so it is a medium coverage. I definitely would agree so far. Um, and it does have a luminous finish, which I definitely agree to. Um, it says it's water resistant, which would be, would have been perfect. I went to a water park um, last week and apparently it is long wearing as well. Um, it also says that you don't need to powder. So I did not powder my face. So that will be really interesting because... I find when I don't powder my face, like, everything transfers, and then I get really oily, so I'm really excited to see how that uh, kind of pans out. It says it blurs any imperfections, including discoloration and unevenness, without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. So I did use a sponge for this, too. I don't know how it, work it would work with a brush. I'll have to try that next time, but I'm really excited to review this with you guys. So the categories actually were all, were fair, light, and medium. Wow, I'm actually surprised, like, so the color I had, I'm just looking now, is, sounds about right. So it is um, medium skin tone with a peach undertone. So I definitely agree about that. So I'm going to jump right into the review. So you guys are right into the first impression slash demo and you can see. I am going to do a wear test so we'll see how this looks at the end of the day. Okay so I have my face done right now. Well not my face done but I've already moisturized, put on my primer. If you are wondering I am using the Touch and Soul No Pore or Poreblum Primer. Love that. Like it just makes my face so smooth. Um, I did color correct a little bit of red and I always um, color correct my dark circles, but you can see like my skin's looking not too bad today. So I am going to, I've elected to use a sponge. Uh, my friend Shannon warned me that I should use a sponge. So I am using the um, Thrive Cosmetics sponge. I really like this one.
Okay, so here is the final look. That was actually like the quickest foundation application I think I've had in a long time. Usually I use a brush though, so maybe because I was using a sponge. Um, but I have to say, I like it. I can tell it's kind of a medium coverage. Um, some stuff is still peeking through, so I kind of have um, some like veins here and I can see them. Um, and of course, like some texture I have right here, I can see that. Um, in terms of the shade match, it's perfect. Like, I think it it's great. I actually haven't had um, a foundation match this well in a long time. Um, it's pretty natural looking. Like, I agree. Like, it's kind of luminous. Like, I feel like I have a natural go glow kind of peeking through. Um, so I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup to see how I like this and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. So I have all my makeup on. Um, I think it looks pretty flawless. Like I'm happy with how it looked. Um, it's still matching my skin tone really well. So you have no idea how happy that makes me. Because I find it's really hard to get my exact undertone. Like things are either too pinky, too golden, too olive. So I really like how this foundation turned out. You can't see any wrinkles. And I think I look really glowing. I know I do have some glow drops on. Um, but I really like how this foundation turned out. Um, I am going to check back in at the end of my day. So I have about like a 10 hour day today. So I'm going to go do a few errands, then I'm going to head to work, and then I will check in after work, and we will see how this held up through a very long, busy work day. Okay, so I am here for the final check-in. So it is now 9 o'clock at night, so I've almost had this foundation on for 12 hours. Um, you can see... Oil's kind of coming through a little bit, but not actually too bad for a luminous foundation. I have to say I'm a little impressed. Um, coverage is still pretty much the same. You can see the texture and some pimples are actually, yeah, you can see that things are not hidden. My skin does not look as great anymore. All in all, though, it's been 12 hours. I've been running around today. I also just took like a 45 minute walk um, and it's been a little bit warmer today. So all in all, like I think it's not a bad foundation. It's, um, do I notice anything different than like drugstore foundations I use? Not really in terms of longevity, but I do like the coverage and I do like kind of the glow. So I would recommend this foundation if you do like the glowy, glowy, not glowy, um, glowy luminous look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what foundation you'd like me re to review next. So I thank you for all your love and support. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a great day.